Uh, you mentioned we mentioned at the beginning of the very the very beginning of the intro that you play in a conference that's produced the Plumleys, the Currys, Zion Williamson, and I know you played against Zion in his last high school game. What's it like uh, coaching against such high level players? Is there any insights you've taken away uh, facing these guys? You know that experience goes back even into Florida, coaching against some really great players in so, in multiple sports. Um, and one thing I often have said to kids today is that if you were to take a guy like a Zion or anybody else that's been very successful and then you rewind back to when they were in you know ninth tenth grade it's almost always not a surprise but not the physical part it's something about the way they carry themselves mentally physically like emotionally they just have a different presence about how they function um and, and so it's the, a professional attitude and work ethic and approach far before they become a professional. It's not a unique type of thing to say, but you know, you basically, you dress for what you wanna become. You act the way you wanna become before you get there. And so that's what I usually see in these guys that are pretty high level in the long run. The Plumleys come to mind. They just had a presence about them, not just on the court, but just as people. And they were good people. They were focused. They enjoyed the experience. But, and I wouldn't say they weren't goofy because these guys were actually kind of goofy. They did some fun and goofy things, but they were focused on what they needed to do. And they had other people around them doing the same thing. And Zion is a great example of that. That guy was the only player I've ever coached against or coached myself that impressed me physically. Uh, otherwise, you know, people are impressive. That's fine. But in, Generally, you know, it's not that new. There's people that are athletic and can jump and run and shoot and all. He just had a different level of size and speed and agility and presence, but he was a great guy to his team. And his coach just couldn't speak more highly of him. I mean, he was so impressed. And I knew his coach for a while um, before that. And we've talked some after that, but. Just the, I think what people don't realize is that the majority of pe people that become professional at anything, there are a few that were jerks when they were younger and succeed, but some become a little bit more arrogant when they get to that spot, when it's now deserved, they've earned it. They, and now they kind of like, you know, play the part, but most people that become really great are pretty humble uh, and good teammates and just work hard. That, that's that's the roots and it again it's not anything you know surprising to hear but that is what i've observed and i think is the most important 